So what do I use to record bass? Let's just say it's much easier and much more inexpensive than anything else I have in the studio. Welcome to my recording studio. Welcome back everybody. So I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time now. The setup I used to record bass once I discovered it was a game changer for me. And I just, I never looked back. And I've been using the same setup for, for years. I use the dark glass Microtubes B7K preamp bass pedal. It's been out for quite some time now, but I love it so much it has really just become my go-to. I'll be honest, I do not like miking up bass amps. I don't think it's necessary unless you have a really cool room and you want to capture the reverb of that room, which I almost never put reverb on bass anyways. So let's talk about my favorite tone. Yes, this is gonna make me look like an old guy, but ever since I was a kid, one of my favorite bass tones is that of the band Anthrax. Even though I love that tone so much, I still want more. I want the Anthrax tone on steroids. I want more bass, more low end. And so for today's video, I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna put on my Anthrax hat. So I wrote a couple of measures on guitar and on drums, and I'm gonna add bass. I'm gonna play it twice. Once as a clean bass tone, and the second time with the overdrive. The overdrive is, that's everything. That's one of the most coolest parts of this pedal. I like to always put overdrive on anything that I write that is heavy. Anything mellow, soft, even electronic. Sometimes I'll put overdrive on electronic, but for the most part, then I'll go clean. But for the fun stuff, the heavy stuff, I will always put that overdrive. comes to the mix, I love to kind of have a dynamic range between the low, the mids, and the highs. I love my mids. Adrian, my bass player, my partner in half and half would say otherwise. He's a huge low end, highs, stays away from the mids type of guy. And I don't, I don't get it, but whatever. I remember I did an EP for a project that him and I were on for a band called Ashling years ago. He would hear the mix and he kept saying, more bass. It needs more bass. So I kept adding low end bass. I got frustrated, whatever, released the EP. He stayed quiet, never said anything. And then later on, years later, he tells me, no, I, I, I don't think you understood me. I didn't want more low end. I wanted just the levels of the bass to be louder. Long story short, that EP, great songs, terrible recording. It's because I put too much bass too much low end. Learning how to record bass, it really has been a process. It's a long learning process. It's maybe not as difficult as drums or even regular guitars, but it's got its challenges. One of the toughest challenges for recording bass is when you have that mix, you really gotta start by looking at those frequencies because you have things like the kick drum, you have things like even sometimes if you have a beefy snare or keys, synthesizers, all of those things have bass to them. So if you don't keep a really close eye on those frequencies, that bass can get lost or sometimes even overpower some of those low end tones that you get from other instruments. So enough talking, let's get to listening to the clean versus the overdrive. And I'm going to start with my favorite. I'm going to start with the overdrive first. So let's give it a listen. So now here's the clean, soft tone bass. No crunch, no overdrive, the way most bass players have it.
lastly, I'm going to play the bass on its own. So I looked up the cost of this pedal. It's still going for about $450, $400. You can find it used. I wouldn't recommend that. Again, that's just me. You never know what you're gonna get. But let me tell you, it is worth every penny. From what I have seen, from what I've heard, watching videos, talking to people, everything that Dark Glass does is pretty great. I have yet to get and add anything else from them in my studio, but I've been looking at a few things. I highly recommend this pedal for your recording studio. If you're a bass player, you can even use it live. This has been a game changer for me. If you wanna take your bass recordings up a notch, your live performance up a notch, get it. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Perhaps share this with your bandmates, any musician friends that you might have, any music lovers out there. Hopefully you found this video to be valuable, enjoyable. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.